Hello, welcome back to Red Faction Gorilla. I'm Jade Star. I'm Armin PK. And hopefully Armin is recording this time. Hey. <laughs> I'm not supposed to We're mention technical difficulties. It's, it's my LP. Technical difficulties are just like intrinsic to the experience. So Armin, today's Mars fact of the day is that scientists from the Department of the Earth Sciences at the University of Oxford have analyzed compo compositions of Martian meteorites and have assumed, or deducted, deduced, studied, scienceized, uh, that Mars had an oxygen-rich atmosphere four billion years ago. I see. Although I've heard that fact before. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, like two and a half minutes ago? <laughs> Well, I'm in the process of repeating things. Armin, how do you feel about today? Do you feel like it's a good day? That everything's fine? No human atrocities being committed? Um, yeah. <laughs> so today is a plot mission for Eos, the first of, uh, two. And, um... The spirit of Halvor Gunnarsson lives on. You ruined this. You had such a better reaction the first time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just gonna stare at this flare for a minute. I don't know why I left these like 10 seconds in. Everyone get to Nestled Hill's apartments. EDF troops are mounting a massive assault on the area. That actually sounds like the mission briefing. Yeah, it's not. Our support in EOS is growing, and that makes the enemy desperate. EDF has declared an emergency lockdown with orders to shoot anyone on the street. It's a virtual siege. No food, water, or medical supplies until residents give up Red Faction sympathizers in EOS. EDF snipers have already killed a dozen people. Your job is to end this atrocity. Get in there and clear those snipers out. Let's show the people of EOS the Red Faction fights for them. Man, the EDF is really making yeah. a crackdown on civilians. Have they turned off the air as well? EOS residential quarter. We've confirmed at least five gunmen, possibly more. This mission actually took me many, many tries. Really? Yeah, uh, it's a difficult mission, but I was making it harder for myself. And you'll see that in the outtakes video. Okay. We've got to put a stop to this. To find a sniper, you got to think like one. Search the rooftops. So if it seems like I know where everything is, it's because this is like my 10th try at the mission. <laughs> Whoop, Mason. <laughs> wow, good recovery. Yeah, that's a, that's a neat little animation. So here's sniper number one. One sniper down. And there's sniper number two. Jetpack is so useful this mission. And there's sniper three. Yeah. Just killed the son of a bitch. Got their attention. <laughs> for closing in. So right here is where I realize I didn't bring the thermobaric rocket. Oh. And you just used the ammo crate. Uh, yeah, but I don't think you can actually switch to thermal barracks at those crates. Oh, really? Yeah, I tried. I think I'll, or I think I might try later in this mission. It, it does not work out. Serpentine, serpentine! Oh, he got me. Oh, whatever. Sledgehammer. <laughs> uh, it turns out, uh, not taking the thermal barrack rocket might also have been a good thing. Oh. Uh... You'll, you'll see in the outtakes, but, um... It has a very low-slung firing point, which makes shooting over obstacles that you're taking cover behind difficult. This mission has entirely too many dudes shooting me. Were there a few Logan moments? Oh, there were plenty. Did someone just throw a gun at me? See. 
I wish these civilians would get out of my way, but it's... Yeah. That guy is way too calm. But, I mean, it does add a nice feel to... What the hell? It does add a nice feel of panic and stuff. I mean, the mission was about, you know, EDF opening fire and civilians. It's a nice touch that they're all here running around and panicking. Even if yeah. they are in my way half the time. Uh, the snipers actually, whoops, just oh. like that, will in fact kill civilians running around, and Shit. will lose morale for it. Here's also why I wanted the Thermobaric Rockets. There's a bunch of snipers in these two middle buildings, and, uh, I mean, we could be respectable, respectful of private property and all that shit, or we could just explode the crap out of those two buildings to solve the sniper problem. Yeah. Because this mag rifle, uh... It's not so strong, is it? No. I mean, it's, it feels stronger in the enemy hands, because you can see my health go away, but uh, shooting those snipers, not so much. And there is just nowhere to take cover here. Oh, they got him right in the eye. Ugh. No, he's fine. He just regenerated <laughs> that. It's good. I guess these are apartments. Uh, they said it was yeah. a housing. I guess these are Martian lofts. Got him. That's four. <laughs> the ammo box somehow survived. <laughs> yeah, here I tried to get the, the thermobaric rocket, and it's not happening. Oh. I wonder why. Well, you get a limited amount of ammo, so. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> You've never seen a guy with a jetpack before. Come on. You can just come through the rubble over the building with a nano rifle. There's just way too many red dots on the map. Wasn't sure if I got that guy, but you know, no, he's down there. Like, mm -hmm. in the rubble. Oh, hey. Found another one. Sniper neutralized. Why are their snipers more heavily armored than their other troops? It's a good question. I mean, they're obviously protecting their strongest troops, right? Nah. You know, the ones that aren't going to get shot at as much. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Look, it's the EDF. Like, they've got priorities in interesting places, like invading the restaurant and bistro district. Yeah. And now they're gonna be like, oh, we're totally not the bad guys, let's just open fire in the residential areas and kill everybody. Oh, crap. Somebody shot a building on top of me. It's fine. I've had buildings fall on you before. <laughs> you just have to have smaller buildings fall on you to build up a resistance. Yeah. one thing about the nano rifle. While it's brutally dissolving a man, it makes kind of a visual cloud of cover so that the second man behind the first guy that's dissolving is hard to see. Yeah. That's the last one. All clear. When do we launch the offensive? Sooner than I mean, think. all clear is a relative term. Yeah, right? It's like, oh, the snipers are gone. All of these regular dudes with plenty of guns to hose down civilians, still here. Yeah. Damn, I was trying to listen to the propaganda. Yeah, rude. Super rude. Like, minutes, not even minutes, like seconds after seconds. this mission resolves. Yeah. The news is like, oh, Red Faction stole EDF sniper suits and opened fire on the public. Like, really? Really? Yeah. <sighs> Breaking news. Breaking news. EDF, a bunch of lying pricks. 
I still don't quite get like these glass walkways, but I mean, whatever, they're neat. Yeah, that doesn't seem to have any real purpose, does it? Oh, just look pretty and stuff. Oh, uh. Well, he said I didn't have clearance, and then he shot at me. I mean, whatever. Just gonna put all these demolition charges around. No one's gonna mind. This place is mostly wrecked. I think we can wreck the rest of it. Gonna need some more demolition charges, more nano ammo. Ow, oh, fuck. I hate these cars so much. <laughs> like, surprise, surprise, the, uh, the mounted anti-vehicle, like, railgun turret really hurts against people. Yeah. That one, however, doesn't have to be. Oh, get it out of there. Ah. Yeah. It is really fun demo sticking people. God, there's so many EDF guys. So, uh, this was a great idea. I'm just gonna steal their armored truck, get in the turret, and use it against them. Uh. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Good job. Thank you. It's, it's fine. It was just a little cliff. Just gonna go back there and finish it out of spite. Fair enough. Don't fall off that cliff. No, no, I got it this time. Although, uh, yeah, thermal array rockets, good times. I'm not sure where garbage truck went. That though. building in one hit. Yeah, it took off the whole front side of it. If I ever turn the camera to the right, oh, yeah, there it is. Where, where did truck go? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Truck just vanished. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually not a very good weapon for destroying buildings, as it turns out. It looks cool though. Oh yeah. Oh, it's great for destroying armored targets. Buildings, not so much. That. Claims to be destroyed, but it doesn't look very no. much more destroyed than I got here. Oh, oh, it's falling down now. There you go. There it goes. Well, it's one of those. Looked away. It was being held up by the uh, the power of Mason's disbelief, and as soon as he looked away, it just fell. Like the uh, like the cartoon and the the coyote, you know. Yes. Except the other way around. No, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as he looks and realizes that it should be falling, it falls. As soon as Mason looks away, the building... I don't know. Because, of course, everyone knows gravity is subjective. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I believe, uh... See, Douglas Adams wrote to that effect. This popped up, and I was just like, eh, screw it, I'm here. I might as well. And then I make the sweet ramp right onto the, uh, yeah. well, almost, right onto that hill, which makes a great place to put a mounted gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look how many dudes poured out of that oh thing. Oh my like, god. Yeah. Wow. 
Okay, so that was like six, seven dudes in the back of one of those things. I mean, that's it's big enough, really. Especially as they're in full combat armor. All right, I just I just want you to remember how many men are in each of those uh, those APCs. Also, apparently, this gun has projectile drop. I never noticed that before. So it does. So there's another APC. And this time we're not letting them get out. Yeah, they, a couple of them did get out, but uh, they blew up. <laughs> I love shooting infantry with this gun. Yeah. I was about to say, are you going to kill that? Yes. Although... Actually, no. Yeah. Did I mention this gun is rubbish at shooting uh, structures? Apparently. Who was shooting at you? It's a good question. Because they've stopped. Oh! Oh, well, another APC, sure. That's like another six to eight men I'm gonna kill in a tin can. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Fun little uh, diversion. Yeah. Someone in the thread, I think, posted I wanted to do this defense mission because it uh, contains a vehicle that I have not yet fully enjoyed. And are you going to go and do it without a bolt, without an arc throw, so you can't get it? Uh, no, because we started it. Oh, okay. So, uh, hey. Hey guys that died terribly inside those APCs. How are you doing there? Oh, oh! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, I enjoyed that. We're trying to move supplies between Dust and Oasis, but the ADF patrols are everywhere. Someone needs to grab a walker and get the drone's attention. Alright, I want you to keep in mind that this is supposed to be a distraction. Yeah. Is it just me or is Kepler sounding less Australian every time you run into him? I'm, I'm not good at those things. But, uh, hey, look what we get. The combat walker. Yeah. And an infinite supply of SRMs. Oh my god. This thing is basically a light back from Mech Warrior. <laughs> Except I don't think Mech Warrior mechs can sidestep like that, which is no. goofy and awesome. So look at the mission objective. Kill 125 EDMs. <laughs> and that is a distraction so that Kepler can move supplies between Dust and Oasis. Oh, is that a new vehicle they have there? Uh, those... EDF, like, no troop transports? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'd seen them before this mission. Basically, we get to pilot a Jenner versus infantry. This is what this mission is. When we kill 125 people for a distraction, I kind of wonder, like, how are we losing this and not just, like, how many of these things do we have? <laughs> like, can we just get, like, five of these things and go storm, the, like, whatever central, like, building that the EDF is operating out of? I feel like we could win. Kepler, it's not like attention at this point. Also, it has trouble with slow, so I wanted to get all that yeah. scrap. 
This, this isn't attention, Kepler, at this point. This is wiping out a small battalion? Like, an entire mechanized infantry division here? <laughs> wow. I, I love the kinetic force the, the missiles seem to impart on vehicles. And they men. really do, yeah. That, that was a brave truck right there. Not a smart truck, but a brave truck. At what point does an EDF soldier like look at Mason and this thing and think, you know what? Fuck this. We need bigger guns. I I'm not charging that thing with my stupid little like homing bullet rifle. Yeah, those like six of them running down the road. <laughs> It's like, we got this, it can't kill us all! Oh god, it's killing us all! They're pretty committed. <laughs> yeah, that fucker just rammed me in the face. I think at what point do they retreat and think, you know what, didn't we have tanks and dust? Let's go back and get those. Or not dust, um, Badlands. One of those rocket tanks. Yeah. Love the really optimistic EDF shouting at us. What are those trucks though? They're, they're not the true transports. No, they're trucks. Cargo trucks? I bet they're pretty good at ramming through buildings. I bet. Oh man. I should try that when I see one when I'm not in a mech. I mean, I guess the, uh, the hole in my theory about let's just like use a couple walkers to storm everything is that you know that the Hydra is going to show up with its 200,000 men <laughs> and the weapon systems that can annihilate all life on Mars. Like, I really hope that's just like EDF propaganda overselling the power of their weapons. Maybe. Sadly, it despawns the walker. Yeah, it'd be nice if they let you keep it after <laughs> the mission. It's kind of sad that they take it away from you immediately. Yeah. I've got things I can do with this. Big things. And, and just to round out the video, I, I felt like... I felt like this bridge needed to go. He's fine. He's fine, see? Those guys uh, are a little less fine. <laughs> wow. We never said that the civilians were the smartest bunch. It's just that they're they were the people worth protecting. And whoops. That that made it a little short. But uh, no, after three thermal really barracudas, standing on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. After three rockets, that thing's only down to like 65 percent on the mini map. You don't really hit anything structural. Taking out the road. There's not a whole lot else to it, though. It's not like the one in Badlands that has supports under it. That's a lot of EDF. They really like this bridge, as it turns out. This isn't the EDF Memorial Bridge. I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Ironically, it's an EDF Memorial to all the people they shot in the residential sector. So I figure, okay, I, I can... I can take care of this with 20 demo charges. See, there's a lot of, uh, you're right that there's a lot of, um, 
like steel beams underneath the, uh, the driving surface. But there aren't any like supports underneath holding it upright. Oh, we would have been, oh, if he'd hit the bridge more squarely, that would have been brilliant. Yeah. This is a really sturdy bridge, as it turns out. Wow. Gorilla, don't stand on the bridge. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But see here, underneath, you can see there actually really isn't anything supporting the bridge out there. I guess I probably should have started at the ends closer to the ground and, you know, just had it Chill fall out that way. Yeah. yeah. I figure this ought to be collapsing at any time now. Take out these big beams underneath. It sounds like it's not liking that. Yeah, it made a groaning noise. Yeah, although I'm being shot at by a lot, I need to get out of here. So I am, I am out of ammo. Please, <laughs> I, ha yeah. I have six demo charges and a sledgehammer. And I can't outrun this thing, so I just need to sledgehammer yeah. this guy and yeah. take his go. Okay, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> I think you're about to die, aren't you? Oh, you're not going to get away with this, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really thought I was for a moment, but no. Uh, I didn't buy that. Give it over. What keeps collapsing every time you come back to this safe? I, I don't know. That really, that really confused me when I loaded in. It's happened the last two times. Something collapsed, and this time there was like a woman screaming. Like, yeah. I, I was looking around, I couldn't It'd figure it out. Easier to move around without that artillery cannon. Oh good, there's the news, yeah. In Earth news, a nuclear accident in Romania has left three more dead and exposed This place is becoming a home again. Levels of radiation. This is the fourth such disaster in less than five years, following incidents in Korea, Argentina, and the United States. Blame has been focused on the inability of regional governments I hope I get to live to see a free Mars. EDF troops have foiled a bombing attempt. An insurgent who fled the raid was later captured with plans for the attack. In a press conference today, General Roth predicted that the Red Faction would be defeated before the arrival of the Hydra. The General noted that while the fleet's newest dreadnought is, quote, a terrifying monstrosity capable of exterminating the entire human race, end quote, EDF soldiers are more than capable of killing the insurgents. The Earth Defense Council has challenged a human rights report criticizing the EDF for torturing prisoners and randomly targeting non-combatants on Mars. The Council completed a full investigation and found no evidence of wrongdoing on the part of General Roth or the soldiers under Mars his command. Mars needs a voice. Maybe Earth will take us this seriously the then. Mars broadcasting system. Yeah, EDF totally does not shoot non-combatants. Also, the Hydra could exterminate the entire human race. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the end boss of the game. The Hydra trying to exterminate all of human life. That's... <laughs> this This Dreadnought gets more and more ridiculous the more we hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's, that's going to be it for today. Uh, join me next time while I take revenge on the bridge. I've been Jade Star. I've been Iron Man PK. See you next time. Bye. Assuming we don't all get exterminated by the Hydra. Yeah. <laughs>